The USS Abraham Lincoln, CVN-72, is a symbol of American naval strength and technological prowess, standing as one of the most formidable warships in the world. As a Nimitz-class aircraft carrier, it represents a massive financial investment, with construction costs around $4.5 billion at the time of its commissioning in 1989. Maintaining such a colossal vessel comes with a significant price tag as well, with annual operating costs estimated to exceed $250 million. Named after the 16th President of the United States, this carrier has a storied history, groundbreaking advancements, and a pivotal role in modern naval warfare. In this video, we will explore the history of the USS Abraham Lincoln, delve into its impressive technical specifications, examine its nuclear propulsion system, discuss the enormous cost of building and maintaining such a vessel, and take a closer look at the life of the crew aboard this colossal ship. The USS Abraham Lincoln was commissioned on November 11, 1989, marking its entry into the elite fleet of Nimitz-class aircraft carriers. Built by Newport News Shipbuilding in Virginia, the carrier represents a significant investment in American naval capabilities. The construction of the Lincoln began in 1984, with the ship taking shape over five years, involving thousands of skilled workers and cutting-edge technology. One of the most notable moments in its history was in 2003, when President George W. Bush delivered his mission accomplished speech aboard the Lincoln, marking the end of major combat operations in Iraq. While the speech's timing was controversial, the image of the president standing on the deck of the Lincoln became an iconic representation of American military power. The USS Abraham Lincoln is an engineering marvel, boasting dimensions and capabilities that few ships in the world can match. The carrier measures 1,092 feet in length and has a beam of 252 feet. It has a draft of 41 feet, allowing it to operate in deep waters while carrying a full complement of aircraft and weapons. The ship displaces over 100,000 tons when fully loaded, making it one of the largest vessels ever constructed. Despite its massive size, the Lincoln can reach speeds of over 30 knots thanks to its nuclear propulsion system. This speed, combined with its ability to stay at sea for extended periods without refueling, gives the Lincoln unmatched operational flexibility. The flight deck of the Lincoln covers 4.5 acres, providing ample space for launching and recovering a variety of aircraft. The deck is equipped with four steam catapults capable of launching aircraft weighing up to 100,000 pounds and four arresting gear cables that can safely bring landing aircraft to a stop within a few hundred feet. These systems enable the Lincoln to conduct continuous air operations, making it a critical asset in any naval battle group. One of the most remarkable aspects of the USS Abraham Lincoln is its nuclear propulsion system. The carrier is powered by two Westinghouse A4W nuclear reactors, which drive four steam turbines connected to four shafts. This propulsion system not only provides the ship with nearly unlimited range, but it also allows the carrier to operate at high speeds for extended periods, a critical advantage in both combat and strategic deterrence. The nuclear reactors aboard the Lincoln are capable of generating immense amounts of energy, which is used not only for propulsion, but also for powering the ship's numerous systems, including weapons, radar, and communications. The reactors are designed to operate for over 20 years without refueling, giving the Lincoln an unparalleled operational lifespan compared to conventionally powered ships. The use of nuclear power also reduces the logistical burden on the ship and its supporting fleet. Without the need for frequent refueling, the Lincoln can remain on station for longer periods, providing sustained air and naval support wherever it is needed. This capability is especially important in remote or contested regions where resupply can be challenging or dangerous. While the USS Abraham Lincoln's primary role 
is as a floating airbase. It is also equipped with a formidable array of defensive systems to protect itself and the valuable assets it carries. The ship's defense systems are designed to counter a wide range of threats from incoming missiles and aircraft to small boats and submarines. The Lincoln is armed with RIM-162 Evolved Sea Sparrow missiles and RIM-116 Rolling Airframe missiles, both of which are designed to intercept and destroy incoming missiles and aircraft before they can reach the carrier. In addition, the ship is equipped with the Phalanx Close-In Weapon System, a rapid-fire Gatling gun that serves as a last line of defense against incoming threats. The carrier's hull is designed with survivability in mind, featuring compartmentalization and reinforced sections to minimize damage from explosions or impacts. The Lincoln also has advanced electronic warfare capabilities, including radar jammers and decoys, to disrupt enemy targeting systems and reduce the likelihood of successful attacks. Building and maintaining a Nimitz-class aircraft carrier like the USS Abraham Lincoln is an enormously expensive endeavor. The total cost of constructing the Lincoln was estimated at around $4.5 billion in 1989, which, adjusted for inflation, would be significantly higher in today's dollars. This figure includes the cost of the ship's construction, the installation of its nuclear reactors, and the integration of its advanced systems. However, the initial construction cost is only part of the financial equation. The long-term operational and maintenance costs of the Lincoln are substantial, with estimates suggesting that it costs over $250 million annually to operate and maintain a Nimitz-class carrier. These costs include everything from the salaries of the crew to the maintenance of the nuclear reactors the upkeep of the ship's systems, and the fuel and munitions required for its air wing. Despite these costs, the investment in the Lincoln and its sister ships is seen as essential for maintaining the United States naval dominance. The ability to project power globally, respond to crises rapidly, and deter potential adversaries is a critical component of U.S. national security and the Lincoln plays a key role in this strategy. Life aboard the USS Abraham Lincoln is a unique experience, shaped by the demands of operating one of the most powerful warships in the world. The ship is home to over 5,000 sailors and airmen who live and work in close quarters as they carry out the carrier's missions. The daily routine aboard the Lincoln is highly structured, with sailors working in shifts to ensure that the ship's systems are constantly monitored and maintained. Flight operations, maintenance, and drills are a regular part of life aboard the carrier, requiring precise coordination and teamwork. Living quarters on the Lincoln are compact, with sailors sharing bunk rooms known as berthings. These spaces are designed to be functional, with each sailor having a small locker for personal belongings. Despite the cramped conditions, the sense of camaraderie and shared purpose among the crew helps to foster a strong sense of community. The ship is equipped with a range of amenities to support the crew during long deployments, including a galley that serves meals 24-7, medical facilities, a gym, and recreational areas. Morale is a critical aspect of life aboard the Lincoln, and the Navy makes efforts to provide activities and events to keep the crew engaged and motivated. While the demands of life aboard the Lincoln are significant, many sailors find the experience to be deeply rewarding. Uh, serving on such a powerful and important vessel is a source of pride, and the bonds formed with fellow crew members often last a lifetime. In 2021, the USS Abraham Lincoln made history by appointing Captain Amy Bauernschmidt as its commanding officer, marking a significant milestone for both the ship and the U.S. Navy. Captain Bauernschmidt became the first woman to command a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, shattering a glass ceiling in one of the most prestigious and demanding roles in the Navy. Her appointment followed a distinguished career that included previous service as the executive officer of the USS Abraham Lincoln, where she demonstrated exceptional leadership 
and a deep understanding of carrier operations. Captain Bauernschmidt's rise to command reflects the evolving nature of military leadership, highlighting the increasing opportunities for women in the Navy. Her leadership of the USS Abraham Lincoln is not just a personal achievement, but also a powerful symbol of progress, inspiring future generations of women to pursue careers in the military. Captain Bauernschmidt's tenure as commanding officer is a testament to her skill, dedication, and the Navy's commitment to diversity and inclusion. What aspect of the USS Abraham Lincoln do you find most impressive? The advanced nuclear propulsion system, the sheer scale of the ship, or the incredible cost and investment required to maintain it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. The USS Abraham Lincoln is more than just a warship. It is a symbol of American technological innovation, military power, and global reach. From its advanced nuclear propulsion system to its formidable defensive capabilities, the Lincoln represents the pinnacle of naval engineering and operational excellence. The ship's history, the dedication of its crew, and the enormous financial investment it represents all contribute to its status as a key asset in the U.S. Navy's fleet. As it continues to sail the world's oceans, the USS Abraham Lincoln will remain a vital tool in protecting American interests and maintaining global security. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed exploring the USS Abraham Lincoln with us. If you found this video interesting, please like, share, and subscribe for more content. We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. See you in the next video.